is our option if you need to report a dangerous situation or damage to our network. If this is That's what we want. Please pause and you'll be transferred to an agent. Please be aware that your call may be recorded for monitoring and training purposes. Hello, this is Andrew. Hi Andrew, this is Steve Palmer from JPS Electrical Services. Can I report an immediate risk of electric shock please? Hi, I'm Steve Palmer from JPS Electrical Services. Welcome back to the channel. It is Monday the 6th of January 2020 and it's my first day back to work. Let me show you what I'm doing. Show you or show you? Let's show you. So first job of the year is an electrical installation condition report. And what does that mean? Think of your motor vehicle, your car, and you take it for an MOT every year. Well, this is exactly that. Uh, the chap that I'm working for today has a license to rent his property out to multiple people, and it comes under HMO. So I'm assessing it for compliance of BS7671, which are the wiring regulations uh, for the domestic installation. Um, First things first, I'm at the origin of the installation. Okay, this is where the main power comes in. And because it's numerous flats, you can see there's main switches and RCDs and everything all over the place. So I'm just having a, an inspection at the moment. So not touching everything, just looking over to seeing what is what. And let, you sh let me show you what I found so far. Just a five minute look and straight away, I've got concerns that have already led me to phone Western Power to arrange an emergency visit. So what we've got down here, this is where the power comes into the property. And you can see the meters and then each switch where the power goes off. There are numerous things wrong here. Um, but the biggest one I'm concerned with, which has led me to phone Western Power, is this supply head here. Um, can't really see it because of the light. Let me put the flash on. There we go, that makes it better. So you can see the supply comes in from underneath into this service head and straight away there's some tape on there. So somebody's recognised this as an issue before and they've put some tape on it um, but that's where it stopped. And let me put you in the top of here. Look at that exposed line conductor let me show you exactly what this means bear with me a second whilst i get set up there we go you can see that i've managed to just about set this up with one hand so i'm on the the live and the neutral conductors there and you can see there's 230 volts so western power are on their way and they will address that and i'll show you what they do at the end of it unfortunately i did give them a call um and they're so helpful but unfortunately they wouldn't give permission for social media um, which is a shame because the service that I receive from them all the time is really really good um, but there we go it's a no so I can't include that right so I called this um, emergency in at 11 59 it is now quarter past one the guys have been in and are done so let's have a look can see that that is where the old one was because of this timber in the front they couldn't put it back there and they couldn't get a screwdriver on it so they've put a brand new service head right over there look nice and safe the reason I wanted to do this video is just to show other electricians and homeowners that if you phone these things through Western Power treat them very very seriously and they come out as quickly as they can now I think that's a fantastic response time what just over an hour um, from me making the call. I was on the call for about seven minutes uh, because I had to try and get permission to use their phone call on my video which they declined. Unfortunately um, I thought it had been good because like I said they, they always serve me well uh, they're always polite and helpful and they treat these sort of things very seriously. Um, by all accounts an electrician has been in this cupboard before me uh, carrying out alterations you'll see the, the main switch as opposed to the RCDs and for some reason completely missed it. I know that was recent because I had a, con uh, a question from the landlord that I'm working with was something that he pulled up. Um, yeah, we won't say any more about that. <laughs> okay, um, thank you for watching. Please subscribe, like, share, 
if you will, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Happy New Year. Cheers. Bye-bye.